Hello, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. We are live. Let me switch this. Boop. Hello, hello. Boop, boop. How's everyone doing tonight? You guys see, you got my closed captions working properly at the bottom this time. Hell yeah. Hope y'all enjoy this little thing. I you know put I your warning that it autocorrects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they figure that on their own. It's a minor thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... It's good. Mm, let's continue. Alright, so I finished that one. I was heading over... Which way? This way. Alright. Yeah. You continue this fucking journey, baby. Enjoy so much one can do. All 50? Yes, okay. You guys grab this. <laughs> grab some of that. Hey! <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. The cock. Okay, cool things. Closed captions. <laughs> mm. This is more more Pikmin. I'm gonna have some good old fun with this fucking level of bullshit. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running, running, motherfuckers. Oh, there we go. See. So I'm gonna head this way. Look, we got something more important over here. And that's, uh, grab the rest of the blues, then make my way over. And then while the blues do their thing, I'll switch to Louie and keep gathering things for more red Pikmin. The red Pikmin, they're useful in their own little way. They're not like the most optimal way to do things, but they're still fun to use. and More consistent than anyone else for whatever reason. Poor Blue's getting a short end of the goddamn stick, man. You know what? Screw it. You guys grab that. Yeah, it's over here. Anything? We have this corpse over here. What the fuck? It's an invisible wall right there, I think. For whatever reason. It's in the air. Right there. That's confusing, that's for damn sure. Huh, oh well. Mm. Take them all. Head this way. Break that so we get a path. Hi. Take my hybrids. Hello, Sidori, and hello, Evan. Welcome to chat. Creator of Pikmin Hybrids. Ooh. That's cool. Hello, chat. How is everybody doing? Hope everybody had a good weekend. <laughs> And I hope you had a great weekend as well, then, Sidori. I kind of did, as a person who has to work open to close every weekend. Yeah. Saturday Saturday after work, came home. Uh, came home, took a shower, and then Mom and I went to a birthday party. 
And then Sunday. Hello. And then Sunday stayed home and did. I've not more heard of picking hybrids. No. <laughs> did some more drawing and gaming with my booba buddy. Your booba buddy. <laughs> yeah. That's good to hear. I sort of saw the drawing bit. Oh, that work. I like taking little ninja peeks at the live. <laughs> when I well, see it hey. happening to see what's going on. You know? Well, hey, you know, everybody's hey, welcome. Hi, Mr. Everybody Will. Welcome to watch. Everybody's welcome to watch when I'm drawing. I don't care. <laughs> I don't mind people watching. Hell, hell, when I you, when I was in high school, crowd you uh a small crowd used to gather around me when uh during lunchtime because they and they would just be why i mean i it made me a little uncomfortable that i had people looking over my shoulder but you know they were just interested in what i and seeing what i was doing so you know <laughs> so good yeah i'm oh, i might take a peek at them uh, no promises there <laughs> interest is a yeah, very yeah, specific thing for me yeah, because Zero and I are uh, Zero and I are kind of eighty-sixing the original outfit that we had in mind. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't feeling <laughs> it. Not far. Much I'm doing anymore, good, Mister so, Will. Uh, Story's doing good. Hey, right. I'm having like three conversations yeah. at once. <laughs> the multitasking <Huh>? is real. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I yeah. Up just to... People, people claim people claim that multitasking is real when it actually doesn't exist. And don't even get me started on the whole default. Like, well, you can chew gum and and do something at the same time. It's like one is one is an involuntary reflex, and the other is just a habit. Wow, and you go so deep into it, mate. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So yeah, Mr. Oak, everyone's doing fine. W conversations, yep. <laughs> Definitely good combos, at least. Mm, okay, so I was like, I was doing something over here. Okay, so yeah, uh, before I do that, I'm gonna go start moseying of the bridge construction. Just to make sure everything's in. I'm multitasking to the finest in this game. Look at them go. Blue guys. Marching the fastest they can oh, yeah. run. Oh, hi. I don't have knickers. My pants are pants. Trousers are trousers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> you gotta listen to Dick. Trousers are trousers. Pants are pants. Knickers are knickers. <laughs> And panties are panties. Those you can get in a twist. Fuck, that's a funny thing. <laughs> Mr. Willick said texting and driving is a goaded multitasking. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, oh, <laughs> the best multitasking. <laughs> Only the best of the best can multitask that way. In what way? No, oh, yes, text and drive the most genius way to multitask. <laughs> and totally not dangerous, gonna get anyone killed. Oh, yeah, cause you, cause you totally can't get in a car accident if you do that. Well, that's a bird head. <laughs> They're just sliding away from me. <laughs> It's going all right. Let's see what's over here. Oh, cool. Hello. There's none of my not know your sense of humor yet. The fucking fire away, dude. I have. I am, as far as I know, compared to everyone else I know, the very definition of that's fucked up, but that's fucking hilarious, and I can't help it. <laughs> We we know it's messed up, but we can't help but laugh at it. That is me. Every day, every day. Every day, every day. That's everybody. 
everybody everybody has though everybody has those things that has those certain things that they laugh um, at even though they know they really shouldn't but they can't help themselves <laughs> and anybody who go. claims they don't and here here i'll make you a bet you show me somebody who claims you push that it off the they don't, who claims that they don't laugh at anything that they shouldn't and i'll show you somebody who's full of shit <laughs> You push Ditto off the cliff, Haxus. And Haxus says, "No, fuck you. You don't get that." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drinking Poor and Ditto. driving is also a great multitask. <laughs> okay, yeah, that that one's funny. Rock. That is funny, Mr. Wilma, for damn sure. <laughs> Show me rock! Ding! Woo! Ding, dang, dang! Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get drinking driving for 2,000, please? Cue the Jeopardy theme. Okay, so most of this run for this day, day 10, is just me going around exploring. I got dark sense of humor. Oh, yes. Be proud of the humor. You gotta find ways to be funny in these trying times, buddy. It means we gotta laugh at the heat death of the universe, we'll laugh at the heat death of the universe. Hey, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you have no sense of humor. <laughs> yes, Alec, what is drunk driving? <laughs> <laughs> and if you can't and if you can't have fun, make fun. Yeah, make fun. Make fun, not love. I actually have it in Japanese music on my soundboard. I was not gonna play it because of copyright. <laughs> Ooh, the boulders, they orbit, they orbit, they fucking fucking orbit. It's raining, Pac-Man. <laughs> what is vehicular manslaughter? I don't know. It's when... It's raining, Pac-Man. The fuck are you catching there, closed captions? Do I need to speak more dramatically for you to understand me? <laughs> need to enunciate more. It's raining Pac-Man, waka waka. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, hey, you know, that that could be a pretty good me that could be be a pretty good uh alteration to that joke. To that little joke video that I saw where the dude's like messing with his friend with his friend like Hey, you know those two songs that you said are your absolute favorites? You do realize they're telling a story, right? They're two halves of a story. What do you uh, mean? Well, sit sit down and listen. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. All right. So, all right. Now listen to the next part. <laughs> yeah, be real careful. Let the You're bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That that could be a pretty that could be a pretty good meme based off of that off that joke video like it's raining Pac-Man waka waka cut to let the ghosts hit the floor let the fruit hit the floor <laughs> oh jeez 
Sorry, I'm tired, so I'm a little loopier than usual. Ain't that a mood? I'm a, little, I'm a little more loopy than normal. Mind you, I was like getting ready for a regular day off. Supposedly, today's supposed to be my day off, and I get called in because we had to fire somebody. They what? We had to fire somebody, so I got called in to well, take their spot. Well, think of it this way. Clearly, the one dude was not cutting it, and they wanted somebody that actually could get the work done, so they called you. <laughs> smash or pass, Pac-Man. It was Pac-Man to smash or pass. Oh, God. <laughs> Depends on which generation. I won't answer because I literally... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait, wait. Could you could you imagine if they actually did a video if anybody actually did a video of that like would it Namco be... you, like like smash or pass Namco Museum edition like Pac-Man Pac-Man <laughs> it wouldn't be anything yeah. new pass pass like it's all the it's all and it's not just the main characters it's like all the other characters from all those classic games. Ooh. Gil Gil fr Gil from uh, you do it from Tower of Duraga. God damn it! Would you like get the fuck in the water, please? Jeez, that one actually got to go to grip on the fucker before you got set on fire. This fucker just likes to vibe, apparently. Like, specifically right fucking there. To fucking do it, Wilk. Just do, do a fucking live stream or like a little video. Pac-Man smash your pants. <laughs> uh, that'd be such an amazing thing to see unfold. Eh. Fucking, I did, I forgot, like, I schedule, oh no, friend cast is usually my, like, oh, my day off again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Wilk. It's an abomination of various people I mimicked over the course of life. Hello there, a Porta Borealis, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my laugh is, like, an abomination of, like, Various people I grew up watching. We got like Yogg's Cast Simon. We got various others. <laughs> but Porta Borealis, shut up. That's what you're known as. <laughs> I do it with Snuffle as well. Snuffle appears in my chat as Techno Madness. I default to Techno until they reappear in chat somewhere else as Snuffle. It's just an. It's just my default thing. Especially when I'm like streaming, because I try to ignore IRL names for privacy reasons. How <laughs> stream been? Oh, it's it's doing pretty good. As as usual, its own mess of chaos and chill all at the same time. I killed the blowhard. The blowhard has been murdered. Alright, so what I need, split up. You guys are gonna get yeeted to the center of that fucking thing. Now you guys get yeeted over here. Now this is gonna be where it gets real tricky. Cause oh shit! Thanks, motion controls. Why are you breaking on me? There we go. <laughs> like a dozen laughs. Oh hell yeah! Laugh amalgamation. Go we. Oh shit! Motion controls. Stop. Why do you keep turning off randomly while I'm trying to aim? It's because I'm not holding down the button. I think. <laughs> that, well, how's the closed captions handling? I'm like not exactly looking at it right now because I'm like focusing on the game. It's gonna eat some reds, but that's fine. They're disposable. Oh, 
Oh, there we got him. Mmm, noises. I really need to work on my confidence, cause like, er, I, noises in your head coming out as a laugh, oh hell yeah. That's just how it be sometimes, homeboy. <laughs> I wanna look at the close captions, fair enough. It's there though for those who need it, or will prefer it. <laughs> That's why I had it, is for accessibility options. I tried to make it where- I tried my best to make it where I didn't cover up too much of the stream, but it was big enough to be read properly, and I- it, It's readable, at least to me. Didn't and I have like, fucking The- the quote my dad's joke, fucking cyborg eyes or some shit, cause I still have like, 2020 vision. Like, I, my whole family, my parents, my grandparents on both sides, my uncles, my aunts, my cousins. What do I use? Let's see, I have it bookmarked, the specific closed captions program, and plug it. Because it's a plugin I use. It's bookmarked on my Twitter somewhere. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I use a closed caption via Google speech rec recognition. Only well, sets the just full name of the damn thing. You know? <laughs> hmm. Me. I uh, can always if Don't shake something, sorry. I like open Twitter to check a bookmark and I see oh I was fucking Pinged. Let me check why I was pinged. It was just person at fucking Reaper posting over the fuck necro posting. Per there we go. Per person, person at fucking. Person at fucking and necro posting <laughs> on an old thread I had like a month ago on Twitter. <laughs> What heifer? Okay, so that's that covered. That's finished. I guess we'll switch hot swap. This way. Thanks to the infinite time, I don't need to purely optimize everything. I just... <laughs> Need to be careful of what I do, and I should probably spend a day regathering berries. Cause it's not like Pikmin 3 where the Pikmin auto backtrack to the berries. You stream closed caption. Ooh, ooh, noise. E. I just used the one recommended <laughs> to me. That's what I ended rolling with. I was trying to rolling with. Okay, cool, thank you. That's a good sentence there. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Google speech recognition. Uh, about as alright as it can get. Do, 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 do. So I got that treasure on the move. Okay, I think just so this. There we go. Alright, you guys go on your merry way. What made what made me switch? Oh, there's a variety of reasons with Twitch. Twitch is just being over the course of the year is being greedy as hell with like cutting the pay percentage. Uh, the new things they're tr that new sponsor thing, which I think they did end up reverting, but I still didn't like that they were willing to fucking do it in the first place. Like, I might bounce back eventually, but it's just the, just the slow over the course of the years Twitch making shitty decision after shitty decision and not reverting many of them, as far as I know. Slowly is going, you know what, uh, until Twitch improves, I'm probably going to back off for now. I know me moving won't mean fuck all, because I literally get like only two viewers per stream anyway, so it means fuck all. But... 
eh, it's just, I'm losing trust in Twitch. So I guess until it improves, I might not return. I would like to, because it has all the cool integrations, but other things are opening up the APIs, like Kick is going to open its API a little more, I believe, soon. And then there's my my preferred primary place whenever that opens up VStream is very open to the current roadmap of development. Yeah. You know, like a 3070 split kick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, well, that's not a bother for me because I'm not tending to make money. It does feel like not morally correct to be streaming on a platform that's essentially stealing money from people, you know? A part of me just, eh. Does it sit right? And I'd rather not. It's this weird thing for me. If it doesn't affect me in any capacity, if I if it conflicts with my morals, I dip. I could go into a whole rant. I'm like example of recent. Hey 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 slick. <laughs> Ex recent example being um. Which was it? Oh I know. Uh, re more recent example being Diablo 4. Great game. Like it's actually pretty good, and it's you know all the g stuff is there out the gate, but. Multiple things piled up for me with Diablo 4 to made me not want to buy it. The first of it's... It requires an internet connection to play. I'm like, I, don't, I forget if 3 required it. If 3 did, then this is just me changing my opinion on that type of thing over the course of years. But uh, I don't like that, because I like to play games offline every now and then, especially like my power is out. Especially at my old home, my power went out frequently at my old house, so... I started very strongly preferring games I could play offline in case my power went out. For various things. Or if my internet went down, because we had a really awkward internet thing. And then there's the other stuff, like, it's, I don't th it's not in the game at the moment, but it is planned, which is to add a paid battle pass per season. And then the, all, like, all this shit's cosmetic. It does not affect me in any capacity. I know. And I've already talked about other streamers, uh, other people about it. Some are understanding. Some are, dude, I can't believe you're chased away from a really good game because of microtransactions. <laughs> that are completely optional. And I'm like, yeah, sure, they're optional. But, um, I don't feel like buying a game that supports this kind of predatory stuff with all these fear of missing out cosmetics and per season battle pass where you still gotta pay for it, spent already forking over 40 or so dollars to get into the game in the first place. It's also part of the reason I don't really play MMOs anymore, outside of some free-to-play MMOs like Trove off and on, because while they have microtransactions, if they're free to play, I at least understand why. <laughs> I don't know. I just, my morals of recent have been conflicting with various things, and it's confused some people, and I'm like, you know, that's fair. I'm just doing what's comfortable at the moment. <laughs> hey, that's perfectly fine, man. <laughs> <laughs> eh. I mean, it's no, I mean, it, it's no, it's no real, you know, it's no real, um, It's no real secret or anything that Twitch has been turning into a bit of an asshole lately towards their towards a lot of their streamers. Yeah, with that one, people at least understand why I'm leaving. It's just with some games, like, I really like the Diablo franchise, but because I'm le not going to play Diablo 4 over microtransactions, it's confused a fuck ton of people who both do yeah. and don't really know me. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here going. If it was just regular fear of missing out shop, fine, fine, I'll deal with it. But the fucking seasonally battle pass and those things already cost usually ten bucks or so to get into. That's like, <laughs> no, no. And live service never been too much of an issue for me, but recently, you said you can have opinions. Twitter apparently. Twitter doesn't like opinions. <laughs> but, uh, I guess other things, like live service. Live service, in my opinion, isn't the worst thing. It's just when a lot of developers use it as an excuse to release an unfinished product. That leave, when I hear and see live service, it gives me, like, a sour taste in my mouth. 
Because I know not all developers do it. Some release a completely finished game, just as is, and then add stuff to it over time. But, I don't know. I don't like live service games as much these days because of the excuse to release a half ass game. And then with the fuck ton of microtransactions planned for an already huge... What is the entry cost for fucking Diablo 4? Like, the base price. Let me check real quick. What was the price? It is 70 yeah. bucks for standard. Oh, God. And then it's gonna have all those microtransactions, plus the season... The paid in uh, the ba a battle pass you have to buy with real cash to get into for a season. No, 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 I'm not gonna. Like, the only game that has done a battle pass I bothered finishing a couple times and enjoying and actually working at is Deep Rock Galactic. And that's not because, and that's because they do it in a way I like. It's not paid, it's just a way to progress every time there's a major update. It's completely free. Yeah. And then all the stuff that's in that battle pass gets put into the base game loot tables when it gets remote, when the new season rolls around. So you can still get those cosmetics. You just gotta do missions and look for them. Like, Deep Rock Galactic is the very, like, the only game I've actually enjoyed that battle pass thing. Because I don't feel like I'm gonna miss out on anything. I'm not, I don't feel like I have to log on every day and do the daily missions. No. <laughs> those things are in the game daily missions and shuts but it's all just for fun yeah Ugh. I know just minor things with today's game development environment it's also I guess why I am very biased towards Nintendo because while they sometimes do the updates after launch thing it's always it's only for like a year of updates and then they stop it's not like they're going to do updates for about five years, and when those updates stop, they're shutting down the game. No, they just kind of leave the game alone. Heck, Splatoon for the Wii U kept its servers online from launch till this year. They only shut down the servers recently because of a DDoS attack, and they haven't brought them on since, unfortunately. Well, like, well, it died. I mean, it's on a- I was, I was a console was already getting fucking cremated. Around the time Splatoon launched, because the Switch was two or two years away. At <laughs> that point, eh. Again, I'm just super biased, and I've brought up that maybe part of the reason why I'm so against these microtransactions because I grew up in an age where when I bought something for a game, it was like a fifteen dollar DLC that added what was $15 worth of shit for that $60 game. So, like, yeah. if this game was 60 hours that. long for 60 bucks and I bought $15 of DL a DLC, that gave me an extra 15 hours of content or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Not like not like nowadays where, oh, you spend, like, 30 bucks, you get maybe a map or you get a new gun or some... Or if you're like playing, or for, like, some games, these days, like Call of Duty and... Various yeah. free-to-play games. You spend a hundred bucks, you get fucking PNG for your character. <laughs> a yeah, skin. Exactly. And most of the time, they're just really fancy-looking PNGs. Sometimes not even a model swap, yeah, depending. Yeah, it's, it's all just cosmetic bullshit. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you got you got to you got to remember, kid. I, I too am from am from that early that early game era where. The, yeah. Where actually, I'm actually before DLCs were really even a thing. Sort of same here. I grew up on the, back, the back, GameCube. Back, back when, back when all the secrets and cheat codes were already in the game, you just had to complete. Back when cheat codes were a thing. A <laughs> time yeah, you had to. You basically had to challenge yourself to complete certain areas or certain missions a certain way or in to, some uh, games or, like running the camera <laughs> yeah. yeah or either either that or either that or you had to explore you had to actually explore and find you know hidden items or whatever to unlock said easter eggs or cheat codes and then you could play the game over again with those added you basically yeah. basically you had to earn all that stuff by developing your skills at the game. Yeah, and for some know? of them, that way, that way some of those you got it. <laughs> Sorry, it's all right. It's just some of those secrets too were just 
a secret... Like, Banjo-Kazooie had a cheat code room that was part of, like, it was shown to you through, like, an objective, and then you could find secret codes throughout the game or in the manual for yeah. a bunch of fun extras. Yeah, exactly. And then you as a player, when you discover, when you manage to discover those or earn those, you felt justified because you felt justified as a player that you actually earned it because you proved that you could do it. Yeah. As opposed to nowadays, like, oh, there's a new skin or a new alternate character look or a new alternate weapon or whatever. It's like, oh, okay, here's my wallet. Take, take my money. Now, I'm not gonna lie, just because I'm super against buying our transactions doesn't mean I haven't bought them before. Like, some games, like Robocraft, or in more recent memory, Genshin Impact a couple times. I have bought yeah. microtransactions, but it's because I felt like it was worth it. Yeah. Like I'm the same way. I only ever hard. spent money on it if I thought it was worth it. Yeah. But I don't, but I don't, <laughs> I don't make a habit out of it. Yeah, I way. don't. I try not to either, because there's, like, no fucking point. Yeah. And then you got other things, too. And it's, again, it's why I default to Nintendo, because Nintendo rarely does paid shit. Unless it's, like, the mobile games. But that's kind of just trademark mobile game shit. Yeah. That's sad if I did. And then you got, I don't know, it's just also, I'm just spoiled by Nintendo, because even to this day, the, at least this, how, like, how, laboratory, they released the game, like, outside, like, the only, every Kirby game Hell has launched on the Switch is still in 1.0 version, besides, <laughs> enough onions mean opinions, yeah, <laughs> like, um, Kirby, only some games like Kirby Star Allies and Kirby Clash are the ones that have gotten updates after launch, and those were all like patches and shit. And for Star Allies, it was free update. It's no perch, no extra purchases. Here's a butt ton of extra content. But otherwise, every Kirby game is still in 1.0. They still do the tried and true thing, and I, I, I love that, you know? Like I said, I'm probably just super biased because I'm... <laughs> oh no. Yeah, typos for the win, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I still am living the good stuff with Nintendo. It's why, despite Nintendo's shitty ideas, I play a lot of Nintendo games, as you can see. <laughs> I have a PlayStation 5, but I have not ever really felt like it was worth getting it, because of the stuff. Also, mind you, all the Western games and shit are like, ah, yes, we're gonna make each game 200 gigs, and it's Nintendo over here giving games with more, with similar or more content for 16 gigs, and they still look great. Because they compress their shit, goddammit. Oh shit! I <laughs> can type too fast. <laughs> yeah, that's a mood. Oh shit! Okay, he's dead. <laughs> this is a little paradoxical. What is? It's a snowball with a fire type pair. <laughs> that's funny. And like. Also, what's even funny to me is I say Nintendo, but Kirby is only published by Nintendo. It's Kirby's owned and developed by HAL. And I can say the same for Pokemon. It's just Nintendo published. Yeah. <laughs> eh. Yeah, game because Game Freak. Game Freak is the Game Freak is the company. Game Nintendo Freak is, is the yeah. Is just the publisher. Yeah, Game Freak 
is the developer of the games, well, technically, ownership of Pokemon is joint between Creatures Incorporated, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company. Yep. It was fun chatting, you gotta head out. Alright, later, Mr. Welk. It was fun chatting with you, too, buddy. See you around. Mr. Welcome, that's not right, Captions. How fucking dare you? Whatever. <laughs> eh. Stuff is stuff, such is life. I just hope. I think it's storming outside my house right now, actually. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh yeah, I did mention this on Twitter, but uh, I realized that on Wednesday it's my day off. So I get I get to do all kinds of things. <laughs> and then um, I totally forgot the Pikmin 4 demo launches on that same Wednesday. So I might do a, a bonus secondary stream of the Pikmin 4 demo for y'all before the friend cast happens that night. You know? Speaking of which, I need to find like eight. I need to pick one or two days where I do a morning stream instead of a night stream. Why? To add some more variety and maybe give other people a chance to watch me. Because I do a lot of nighttime. But there's some people that watch me that only are around in the mornings or early afternoons. Because that's when they have the, the opening. That's super paradoxical. Super paradoxical. Ironic as soon this as... Is the... <laughs> it's a grass ice and it had a fire type. Terror. <laughs> If mm. uh, all's well, that ends well. It works. If it shit works, it works. And it honestly, adds a way to confuse the enemy. To have that type of paradoxical typing. Really. Hmm. That was a good little talk there. I need to find some more talk. Because that was just a. Uh, I pour my heart out That's again, a but. It was, it was that fucking pour my heart out moment again, but instead of pour my heart out over why I stream and and, and the, my way I go about gaining sub subscribers and followers, it's now I went around to why I hate today's video game climate. <laughs> oh wow! And also, I'm pretty sure interview with some Sony developers pointed out that. The current price up is to ensure they keep the money for the expensive ass budgets for their hyper realism games. I'm sure going, then stylize your shit, damn it. Where the fuck? There's one guy missing. There he is. Oh, uh, so apparently there's something, um,. You can get for completing the like, uh, Pokedex, mm. and it makes it easier to get shinies. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's called yeah, a shiny charm. That's what they say. It's called a shiny charm. It's been around for a few games now. And yeah, once you complete the base Pokedex, you get it. <laughs> Honestly, for my shining, I just went with the uh, the name of the developer route, which is. Breed Pokemon with a Pokemon from a different region. So in this case, I wanted a shiny Vicavolt. I just kind of gave up because fuck it, I'm not gonna do shinies. But basically, that it's called the Masuda method. There you go. Basically, for example, yeah. you breed an English and a Japanese of the same species, or uh, like a different language. Ditto, and it should work. I think I have a Japanese Grubbin or a German Grubbin in my sword. Not sort of my, my shield PC somewhere that I used to try and get a shiny grub and so I can get a shiny Vicavolt. I love Vicavolt, it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna go in this hole. I'm gonna jump in this hole. Jump in the hole. Hmm. No. <laughs> Hmm. 
There you go. More pickies. Look, I know breeding two shinies together doesn't work. Unfortunately, no, it does not. The Masuda method is the only way to breed that increases a uh, shiny rate. Yeah, it's just like you think it would, but it doesn't. And I don't know if it is in Scarlet and Violet, but uh, <laughs> the another way is to just murder a Pokemon 500 times. This is actually data mined from Sword and Shield, mind you, the various ways. And the Masuda method has been a thing since like Gen 2 for shiny breeding. <laughs> And it's still in the fucking game. At least with Sword and Shield. Breeding to alternate languages. That cuts the rate in half. Or the... I don't know what exactly. But basically you have double the chance for shinies when you do it that way. And then you can do, do the similar thing of doubling it. But uh, you gotta murder them like 500 times. So, you know, shit, shit happens. And, uh, let's see, let's see, let's grab that. <laughs> now, there's some here. <laughs> I'm trying to brain. My brain is turned off right now. Please come back no later. Worries. If I can get this one to evolve, I have a Pokemon I can trade for one of the that other language, Hexor. <laughs> <laughs> it's flying yellows. It's a stream of piss. Banana! Banana Pikmin! And now you guys all pick these guys up. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Pop, 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 pop. Ah, shit. Hmm. That guy's dead. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna climb up this ledge here and then assassinate this bulb orb. As you do. There you go. Job done. Mm. Oh, I need to be in a union circle for this Pokemon to evolve. Are you serious? Which one? Uh, the dolphin. Oh, fun. To get it to evolve into, um, Palafin, you need to be in a um, Union Circle and get it to yeah. level 38. <laughs> the, yeah, they're getting, uh, Game Freak's getting real creative with some of these weird-ass evolutions so this link cables aren't really a thing anymore. So, they stopped doing trade evolutions, essentially, and started doing weird fuck shit. Like, turning your cons upside down so you can evolve Ink at level 30 or something. It's the funniest fucking thing. Okay, that close. Checky, checky. Nuovo table. Okay, that's almost, I think that should be the last trader for this floor, if I remember. Yeah, 
that's all of it. Thing turned off. Thank you, Audio Q, because I'm covering it the, my treasure meter on stream, so. Hum, hum, hum. I don't think anyone's on. <laughs> but I could join. Without joining a random. <laughs> ah shit, wrong button. Ah, whatever. Button is button. Seventy one yellows are out on a prowl. Oh shit, one fell to their death. Break that. Come with me. Come if you want to live. I have it at like level 40 or something, and I was like, it should have evolved by now, what the hell? <laughs> I looked it up as freaking 38, but you need to be in a union circle. I'm looking for a girl. Noises. No, you stay. You stay on the ground, goddammit. Okay, that's you dead. Now you stay swooping snitch bug. Stop your shenanigans. Shenanigans has been halted. It's all 99. We split up. No, you stop with that bullshit. Holy shit. You're all fucking baloney. Okay, it's one bomber bug down, whatever the fuck they're called. So anyway, I started throwing. Why oh, <laughs> Okay. No, 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 Get running, little ones, run! Okay, that's everything, it looks like. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anytime soon. Hallelujah. Oh, there. Hallelujah. Can't remember from here to there. The same way I might have them from over here, but it's not for me. You're going to go away. Huh? What? Oh, you want to see, um. Want to see what? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. <laughs> oh, it runs. <laughs> Spirit vlogger. Okay. We want. <laughs> Come on, White Pikmin, let's go on a journey. Got the cannon larva. That's a cog. Huh. There's gonna be some sort of. There's gonna be its own little thingy. That's all I can say. You right there, closed captions, or am I not speaking loud enough for you? Oh shit, I think closed captions fucking died. Oh no! Closed captions return to me! Exist, damn it! Turn you off. And turn you on again. Hello? There we go. It works again. I just had to reboot it for whatever reason. Okay. That whole side over there has some things to note, but I gotta be careful. Still. Oh, egg. Egg. Okay, okay, okay. I see, 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 I see this bullshit you're spouting now. It's fucking cringe, bro. Okay. Big yawn moment, big yawn moment. <laughs> yeah, this way and this way. Okay. I think everyone's reflowered. Oh. Jesus. Let me reload. I don't like this one bit. No, 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 no. Pick me in! Big noises, big noises, big noises. <laughs> People's obsession with Rofro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? I'm looking for the trades, and almost every trade I see, for no matter which Pokemon I'm looking at, everyone's wanting, like, an Egyptian cut for a pro. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't either now. I'm just as confused. Oh, cool. Well, it's like, oh, I want a golden go. That's like 99 freaking. 99 freaking. Give me gold what? coins. Give me gold coins, yeah. The weird gold surfer man dude thing. I'm at like 254, I think, when I checked. <laughs> I still got always before I even evolve one myself. Yeah. <laughs> Luna. Okay. One wants an oh, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> and then was the message and delusion and an overquill. As Ooh. Pokemon they want. Overquill was fucking abysmal to try and evolve, man. all of you now grab the goddamn treasure okay loot obtained what is what the yeah. insertion with the freaking for for pharaoh trim <laughs> not the fur fro for free? For free. Still a treasure around here somewhere. Where the fuck is it living? There it is. I see you, you bitch. This one wants an iron moth. Oh, iron moth. <laughs> That's level 91 to 100. <laughs> French one, so I don't know if that one would count to the French Masuda. <laughs> That's gotta be an alternate language. In this case, it's gotta be English with French, English with Japan, English with German. It's gotta be two different regions. Yeah, really yeah so it's like I think ones? that might count, but I don't have a iron moth. <laughs> you can't breed iron moth, anyways. I'm just saying, I don't have an Iron Moth to trade, period. Yeah. Okay, it's all the treasures hey, on this level. Good to know. So I'm sorry anyone that wants a blind playthrough of Pikmin 2, I quite literally grew up with this game. It's the game I play the most on, on my con on my GameCube, besides Luigi's Mansion and Mario Sunshine. It is one of the most played games on my in my library. 
Then again. That is not the weather warning, Pokemon Go, but okay. Ooh, safe style. Safe space. Safe space! Give me your fucking nectar. Give me the nectar. Nectar! I have a crap ton of freaking gimme calls I can eventually evolve into golden groves to trade off. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just getting the coin to do that. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a pain. It was like was it like nine hundred or a thousand or something? I fucking forget how much. Like ninety nine, I think. Mm. Which means I either need to go hunting for them, like in the open world, or whatever as well, like whether it's the wandering ones or the yeah, the chest forms, or just murder them. <laughs> <laughs> murder the chest form, go we. Speed. Do make sure I do my daily uh, thing to get more. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, bada bing, bada boom. I'm sitting at... 304 gimmickle coin. Boo be do 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 Okay, send here. First of all, you go here. So I can at least get fifty a day for from Pokemon Go. So I don't run out of those cord things. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's 25 of these fucks to run around with. Kaboom. Kaboomer strats. Hey, just about to get one more attack in before you realized you got knocked out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the ball again, you little Cause you're already going. <laughs> yeah, that's a ball tiled weevil. Yeah, I get ignited, motherfucker. You're dead now. Oh yes, volatile. Right now. Did 
think that was on the journey. Yep, it was a snuffle. Oh well. Hey, how's doing? Doing good. How are you doing, buddy? Hopefully better than the other day. Yeah. My bot. What's funny is my boss Don called me like early this morning, but I was still asleep when he called me, so he never called me the rest of the day. No. He was probably trying to call me in for a shift. Fun. I got called in for a shift today. It was my day off. <laughs> Playing some Pikmin on stream right now. You guys want to do some Deep Rock or something? Mm, not tonight. Guys, Deep Rock will be this Thursday, guaranteed. But uh, any other time, I'll be outside of stream hours. Some beta Minecraft. I don't know. Eh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Minecraft came and went in my brain again. So that's so. As far as we know, that series is dead till you get the urge to do it again. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna keep the world around. So it'll be like a few months later, join back up. What the fuck is this piece of shit? <laughs> to rediscover everything. Yes. <laughs> rediscover my. Uh... Go fast, right. Pikmin, go. <laughs> Nico, what do you want to do? I'm currently trying to get Pokemon to potentially trade off for another language, um... <laughs> Hexor. <laughs> the gold, the jackpot is a different language, ditto. <laughs> I'm just kind of escorting this pick, these this little Pikmin batch around. I don't exactly trust them not get themselves killed. In other words, then a uh, Hexor in um, uh, in this game, we're trying to get another one from a different region. <laughs> area in the world, basically. <laughs> Probably play Gundam Evolution on here, actually. <laughs> that's a game we haven't played in a while, but then again... Yeah, oh, that's, that's a game... A that's a game you can go into a parody here, Neko Rage. It's one of those games for the dude, because the <laughs> teammates kind of fucking suck. I can get him to sit down and teach me how to like modify my like just the starter one to make it look slightly different. I'd be so happy because I tried doing it myself and it was so complicated. My brain imploded. In oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, the amount of customization for the mechs it hurt my brain. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what was what and what did what. Most of the customization only really adjusts stats, not look, unfortunately. As far as I, from what I remember when I started dicking around in there when Zero was trying I to explain it, it only to did me. Help. It was just cosmetic changes. That was my thought. Well, I think the guns might have changed. I don't know. I only played the game That's twice. <laughs> I have like a main freaking gimme goal. <laughs> Infinite gimme not, goal. Not any that are, um. <laughs> like, I can't just take the gimme goal, shake their coins up to evolve them. <laughs> to evolve one. I thought you were talking about like battle ops for a second there, where you got the points you can throw under the suit. To... Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking for like a split second. For evolution, I'm not going back to that, sorry. 
Battle Axe, uh, after a certain rank, you can paint your suit to make it look different. And then you got equipment, or uh, the standard equipment you can switch. I see you doing gold. Look at that. I know, game, shut up. Game, please! Oh my god, where the fuck did you run your ass to? Oh, careful, you Pikmin. You stupid fucking idiots. Oh, shit. Tit. Shit tit. When I hit play or Deep Rock Galactic, a little window pops up and there's like four different versions. I just picked a default one. What, like, what does DirectX 12 or DirectX 11 it's do? It's the different rendering um, engines. Like visual processors. Yeah. So it's like if it's not working well with the default, you just select one of those. And then there's like safe mode or whatever, so if you've got mods that are breaking your game, you can load up without yeah. them. the shorter stream because I was not really prepared for anything today unfortunately because I'm tired stream is tomorrow I forgot more Pikmin oh boy you're gonna burn yourself out with Pikmin oh no I am not gonna burn myself with Pikmin I've been playing it for a while man it is a game that I will sit down and play for hours on end Anything from the GameCube era, I fucking enjoy. It's not like Minecraft or anything, or I will definitely burn myself out after like a week. No, 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 no. Die, motherfucker, die. Woo!
There we go. Job's done. Big focus. Oh shit, where the fuck did you go? Storm's kicking up. I think I might instrument a bit early, just for safety's sake, in case something happens. <laughs> Live for an hour 30 minutes. That's uh, a right length, I guess, for my streams. My streams are never meant to be super long, unfortunately, because I have responsibilities I gotta worry about. So I'll move on to the next floor here, and then I'm gonna call it for the night, and we'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. And then we have a Pikmin 4 demo on Wednesday, followed by Friendcast later that same night. Eh. Noises. Wee wee! Alright, that'll be it for tonight then. Y'all have a wonderful night, alright? And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pikmin 2! Woo! Night, night, night to everyone.